So here we go. It's Clapton time once again, just like London buses. Two come at once. First was Kassan Hadmi. Now it's Hanuche Kamara, who's joined on a permanent deal from Plymouth Argyle on a two-year contract. I'm joined by Steve and Matt, the resident Devon. Um, of course, Steve is in Devon. Matt is not from in Devon, but he originally is from Devon. Um, enough of that, though, Steve. What a signing. Your thoughts? <sighs> Top draw. I, I I genuinely think it probably is the best one of the window, bar maybe Marcus Harness. Um, Argyle fans that I know are gutted, absolutely gutted. He's really really good. He's the engine room of Plymouth's team, and for a promotion rival to take one of their best players, and I think he is probably in their top three, um, is a massive coup for us. Really really pleased. Really pleased. Um, can't wait to see where he ends up playing under McKenna. Uh, top draw signing. Definitely. And Matt, oh, what a deadline day. Uh, normally, it's quite day expected at Portman Road, but the last two years, we've um, had loads of signings. What's your thoughts on this one? Yeah, it feels better than last season in a way, because I think it all kind of felt a little bit uh, rushed last season. I mean, it was, it was obviously great getting Morsey in last year. But yeah, this year, I think we seem to have gone from almost not quite despair to elation, but sort of from a minus to a positive. Obviously, it came out yesterday that um, Hurst, long-time target Hurst, had gone to Blackburn on loan. Um, and we thought, oh, see, it's kind of the, uh, the, the window's going to kind of go out with a whimper. But then, wow, bang, you know. And yeah, come on, like you said, um, I grew up in Suffolk, but I was born down in, in Plymouth. My, my dad grew up in Plymouth. And I've got a lot of family on my mum's side down around that way. And I've, I've had swapped a couple of messages with my uncle, who's a season ticket holder at Home Park. And he's um, he's described Kamara as tricky and spindly and really gutted to see him go. Same as what Steve said about other Argyle fans. So, yeah, I think it, 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 it's a top quality sign in. Uh, you imagine that he's probably maybe going to play in and around the same areas sort of behind behind the front man. Um and particularly with with a, we don't know the extent of Aluko's injury from Tuesday night yet. That that's a little bit more depth in that area of the team that um, it, we get as well. Definitely. And uh, Steve, you know, you've Kamara has been a standout player in League One for a few years. And um, as you said, you, you're down in Devon, so you get to some home park games in the home end because you can't get to Portland Road every week. So you're able to watch it, watch him a bit more than some town fans. Um, what do you like about him? Um. He's leggy. I mean, your uncle's comment about him being spindly is, is very true. Um, plays plays through the lines really, really well. Don't mind a tackle. Um, he's, he's just a non-stop midfielder. Um, he's, he's not got the physicality of Morsi or Ball. Um, he's a lot more refined, I think, in his playing style. But... Yeah, he's he's just a really, really good player. A good, solid, technically gifted player. Um, and to see him in a in a in a team like we've got at the minute with the players that we brought in, I agree with Matt. You know, the transfer window last year was a bit hectic. This year is much more um, it's much more effort in getting the right players in at the right time. Um, and, and Kamara is is going to be great. And I also will give hats off to you, Ross, for pronouncing uh, both both signings pretty much on the money that was excellent uh, yeah. so i know you have a t- tendency to get them a little bit off offline but yeah you got both of them on the money oh. yeah great player really good player i will admit i've been practicing the mirror um, <laughs> the mirror. um oh, that was but i was gonna say not bad for a boy from chantry but yeah uh, well no. professionalism is yeah that's what he's like from chantry with macaulay bond not probably coming now unless, yeah i know unless nah, they dump the third one on us before 11 o'clock, which I don't think will happen. No, um, we won't t- turn fate just yet at deadline day because we've got a few hours left on the window. You may be watching this tomorrow. So hello, future people. Um, but Matt, to round off today's video, um, it's been a good transfer window as a whole. Um, and just have a statement signing for this division. Some League One clubs will be thinking, wow, Panuche Kamara, now a town player. And oh, we are stacked now in that position. We are. And it feels like we're stacked with a purpose as well, I think. Last season, we all got it's no joke. We all got excited about sort of signings arriving every five minutes, you know. But I, I think again, with the signings that have come through today, um, with Kamara and Amade, um, 
it, it just shows, I think uh, Mark Ashton, Dash, or what, I quite like what Andy said on that little 15 minutes he did with Mark yesterday about us always on the simmer, you know, it's never off that dashboard. And I think it shows we, we've been signing with purpose. Um, you know, we've been getting in the, like, the players with the attributes that McKenna wants for the, the start of football. He wants his side to play. Um, and um, yeah, it, it, it's just brilliant to see. It, it's been clever, um, clever transfer business. Um, you know, we we stack. We, we've got cover in position, all positions really, uh, or certainly in all outfield positions. Um, well, and arguably sort of with goalie as well. And I, I didn't go on Tuesday, but Haki had a, a a deep, reasonable game from what I can uh, understand. So it, it feels like there is a plan and a purpose, and it, it's not like previous league one seasons we've had under Lambert and, and under Cook. Certainly, start where it kind of feels like we're We've got good players, but we're kind of lurching from one thing to another and winning when we through luck rather than through planning. So I am um, I'm still I'm, I've been an Ipswich fan for nearly 30 years, so I'm I'm still going to be cautious. But I've not probably felt this optimistic in, in quite some time, really. Um, and uh, long may that continue. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Well, Steve, Matt, thank you very much for joining me. Second deadline day signing. Oh, it's exciting to be a town fan at the moment. Bring on the rest of League One season. It's going to be exciting. See you guys. Hope you've enjoyed it once again. Bye-bye for now.